the students are the 12th and last in the list of priorities as soon as the COVID-19 vaccine is approved and made available to the country, the Department of Health disclosed Wednesday. In a briefing given to the House Committee on People's Participation by Government Agencies Involved in the COVID-19 Vaccination, DOH Representative Dr. Aleli Ani Grace Diahal made it clear that the prioritization of sectors lining up for vaccine protection will only be carried out based on the availability of supply. We hope people will not misconstrue that they are not priority. Sadia Ka, Director of the Bureau of International Health Cooperation, stressed. Senosa Del Monte, Representative Rita Robes, Chairperson of the People's Participation Panel, said the prioritization list is clearly based on close analysis of the COVID-19 situation. Adding the vaccine SAR in the National Task Force on COVID-19, Chief Implementer Carlito Lopez is for swiftly addressing the prioritization issue. IATF's handling of the anti-pandemic program has also been cited by other countries as successful. We found solutions to the worst problems faced by the country, Robes said. The priority eligible groups as presented by Sajakal. First priority. Frontline health workers numbering about 1,762,994 from both public and private sector. Second priority. Indigent senior citizens estimated at around 3,789,874 in number. Third priority. Remaining 5,678,544 senior citizens. Fourth priority. Remaining indigent population estimated at 12,911,193. Fifth priority and uniform personnel 525,523. Sixth priority teachers and school workers in both private and public institutions. Seventh priority all government workers from national agencies and local government units. Eighth priority, essential workers in agriculture, food industry, transportation, and tourism. Ninth priority, social demographic groups at significantly higher risk other than senior citizens and indigent populations, such as persons deprived of liberty, persons with disabilities, and Filipinos living in high-density areas. Tenth priority, overseas Filipino workers. Eleventh priority, other remaining workforce. Twelfth priority, students. Sudyakal so said that a prioritization list has become imperative because we do not know yet the kind of vaccine to be approved and when it will come out. She noted countries grappling with the dangers of the COVID-19 pandemic are also lining up to access the first available vaccine that will be manufactured. We really have to prioritize based on the available supply, the DOH official explained. Nevertheless, Tsuchikal assured lawmakers that the Philippines has a good fighting chance of accessing the first available and effective anti-COVID-19 vaccine through the COVAX facilities of the World Health Organization. We will not rely on one source. Maraming bansa nag-aagawa na ngunit tayo naman ay kumakausap through bilateral discussion and exploratory discussions directly to manufacturers. There are many countries competing but we have started discussions, said Sujakal. Thank you.